and in, it's in the best possible way. It's the mechanics of Dark Souls in the speed of Demon Souls, and I always loved Demon Souls speed. That is a boulder. You'll remember, remember this from the asylum. Remember, remember this. Thank you. It means a lot. I can't remember what that Red Eyes Knight is defending, but I get the feeling uh, I'll die getting it, so I'm going to not do that for the sake of not being killed by that guy. And I'm going to hope that this guy doesn't uh, kill me too. And he calls very nearly did. And now he's going to chase my ass as I run away in here like a bitch. Aha! That was a partial parry. It sounds like somebody's sneaking up on me because my audio is delayed. It's actually the sound of our footsteps. If you're curious why my audio is delayed, it's... When I use optical on PS3, you don't get sound when I record. And I need to figure out a setup where I do get sound because it's really stupid. And I only ever came across this when I switched to uh, HDMI. When it was composite, I don't think it was the same, but I don't know. Something changed, and it sucks, so I'm suffering for you kind people. You'll notice the backstab is the Hornet animation. The great news about that is you can use it to knock people off edges in ways that you would... That was amazing you would use the Hornet to do so against a hacker. I can't hurt him as he gets up. What the fuck is this? This is Demon Souls. You can be hurt as you stand up. They changed that. Oh, if only I could get these guys to blow that barrel up. I should have thrown a firebomb at it, but I like to keep my firebombs. You need to be careful of these hollows too, because they are flaming torches. And just like in Dark Souls, the guys with flaming torches are scary. And we have really small life until we get the ring at the bottom of this little vista. Oh, the bottom of this tower, sorry. It's not really much of a view, is it? it looks like shit. The rampart. This is the Kling ring. This is a famous ring in this game that Demon Souls players are well aware of. It's going to give us a little bit more life back. And it's going to supplicate the deficit we get due to being dead. Because in this game, being alive versus being dead carries weight. And it's a weight that I wish Dark Souls had. It doesn't necessarily have to be. You know, it gimps your HP. But it would have been really nice if it incentivized outside of people summoning their friends. Because a lot of people played Dark Souls in hollow form and never got the thrill or the terror of invasions. They never got to experience it. And I think it's so much part of what these games are that it needs to be experienced by everybody. So, good old Strava. This is our buddy. Um, and we're going to push him down here. What on earth are you doing? And he's going to land in fire and, and hopefully fight those people for us. With his rune sword. There's our thief ring. That's going to come in handy too. And if we kill him, we get a nice stone, but that would be mean. What is he doing? Looks like he's having a tough time, poor lad. A couple of backstabs. You have to be careful too because you can hurt him. It's one of those really shocking things about these games. They like to be My really thanks fierce. For your brave rescue. There we go. I almost brave rescue. Putting him in danger gives us a nice brass telescope. Oh, that'll be something. Worth checking out. As it stacks my items with all the shit I don't want. Watch my roll animation when I roll out of this. Hang on a second. Is it different? How do I hear? Is that it? He doesn't look into the thing? I've never used this item before, so... But let's see. If I roll forward, do I do... No. You don't do the reverse roll. Maybe there's a, another input you need to do with this. I'm not too sure. Maybe now? No, it doesn't do it. Dark Souls 1, you reverse roll when you roll out of that animation. It's a super cool roll animation that's very tricky to do. Look at this guy. He's getting gangbanged. Ooh, what do you drop? More grass. 
You might want to be careful. Now I must go. There is something for me to take care of. His people need him. He's going to do things. Ooh, scimitar. I assume that that's the exact same as the falcon that I'm using. Is it stronger or weaker? It is weaker. Does it have better bleed? It has the same bleed. So why would you use this? Is it lighter? I love that spinning attack. Maybe it's a little bit faster. I don't know. Has he gone down here? This guy's crazy. Stab. He, he looks like he's gonna die. I hope he can heal, poor guy. Unknown hero something something. This is a place that firebombs do really well, as you can probably tell. I have no idea why this man is going on this suicide trip, because it doesn't seem like a great idea to me. Can we do like... Yeah, this guy's gonna die. I've never seen a Strava die by his own hand. I've killed him a million times. And I nearly killed him just then. Because of this game and the way it works. You notice how he's not shielding very well either? I just threw a firebomb instead of healing. Epic level skills right here. Can you please heal, you moron? You're gonna get killed. I don't I don't want him alive, I just you know. He's a nice guy. And he gives you things. Can you please now, heal? I must go. There is something. Well, well, We'll leave him to his, his business of dying, because he seems pretty fit on it. And we'll pick up this. Which is another unknown soldier thing on the Oh, well, why did you turn around? That was weird. What did he drop? Half moon grass. I think it's new moon grass actually. I called it twilight grass, that's not true. For him, it's going to shit in that particular area. I wonder if it's the price of applying physics to those objects. But I'll have you know, the frame rate in Demon Souls is perfect. Oh, well, that's what the nostalgia glasses will tell you. Which is obviously true, guys. It's perfect frame rate. All 26 frames of it. Stab. So we're going to top off because there is an, another one of those blue fellas. That was a bad parry attempt by me. That was interesting. The parry window is so weird in this game that you can do weird shit like that. To me that looked like it shouldn't have worked, but I'm not going to question it. Because he falls off in slow motion. And it doesn't kill him. And we get to move towards my least favourite aspect of 1-1. One, one. Chasing boulders and getting hurt by them. <laughs> this is my tutorial on how to chase boulders and take damage. It's an effective strategy in uh, not playing very well. Look at the dragon over there, the foreshadowing of that douchebag. Very scary individual he is. Some good stuff to grab though, that sure. Whoa, you see all the stamina? Gone in a second. These are spearmen, they might have what I need. Is he throwing a firebomb? He is. He's also very dead, so that's useful too. guy has an axe. You may be wondering, isn't there a dragon coming? And you would be correct in that ponderance. There is indeed a bloody dragon coming. And he's here. I can't quite remember his range, so I'm gonna get real scared. Oh, he didn't even breathe fire. Is he gonna do another lap? Come back, you idle sod. 
I could have totally ran this now, but it's a dangerous section and I prefer it with less dudes. So if you would kindly... Thank you. Here he comes. Do your job. Please. There it is. And now, he's going to give us nowhere near the amount of time he just did. See? Before, we had an eternity, but now we've done that, he's going to chill and hang around like a dick. Do I have to reset him by going this way? Can't remember. The good news is he's not over here anymore. <laughs> or is he? Aha! I nicked your shit. Kinda. So hopefully we'll be able to run this now and we'll not have a problem. But I don't know the mechanic of this dragon too well. In fact, the dragons on this game piss me off to no end. I find them to be very frustrating. But that was okay. I can live with that. And then this opens the door to the... The good old boss. And the frame rate hits the shitter. Just to be expected. There's dragons. They're doing dragon things. And we can go and throw bombs at a boss that I think is miserable. And if you've played Dark Souls, you'll recognize a certain enemy type in that game that is a boss in this game, and that's going to come in handy because that is the equivalent to Gold Pine Resin. And there's a trick where you throw a bunch of firebombs at the beginning of the fight, which I was learning for the speedrun, but I can't for the life of me remember it. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to run close and get speared a lot and chuck some bombs and stuff. And... That was weird. I wonder why there's so many guys. Stop it. Oh, nice throw, dude. This game seems to move a lot quicker than it does in Dark Souls. I pressed right on the analog just then and it, it was really quick at moving between targets, which I appreciate a lot. Need to get behind Mr. Blobby. Do some real damage. There we go. Yummy. That is some interesting tracking that creature has. Still tagged me. That time he wasn't so fortunate. So that's cool. What is this? Was oh, that half moon grass? Get to play with the boss now. So we'll go. I do like the music in this boss. It really sets up the, the style of the music in this game. Which is weird. I think the music in these games is, is very weird. Shocking to say I know, but that is definitely how I feel. Stop it, dickheads. Just wasting my buff like a beast!
I've never understood this boss too much. It's such a, a weird encounter. Like, you hit it, sometimes you don't hit it, sometimes you do hit it. Then when you do hit it, sometimes you do really great damage, sometimes you don't do really great damage. Also, can you kill this guy by killing all of the, the crazy little shit dudes? I don't even know. I want you, Marsh. There we go. Our friend is dead. Long live our friend. We revived. We've got a shard of hardstone, which is awesome. And a lead demon's soul. So we return to the Nexus and we'll see the elemental. And we did that while exploring, while taking our time. And we're just sitting the 40 minute mark, so we've just got another hour and we'll be on par with that walkthrough. But the one thing I'm going to be doing to control world tendency uh, will be to kill myself in the Nexus, because it doesn't affect the worlds, and it's something that I do every single time. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I like to control world tendency. So that's what I'm going to try and do. And now that we've done that, I'm going to go and see what the tendency is in this zone. I'm going to level up first, though. But I don't think you can level up until you've talked to the elemental. So I just want to come back here, because we killed the boss, so now the tendency should be one stage higher than it was before. So I'm hoping that it's gone to pure white because we didn't die here in human form. And if it did, it'll open the gate that'll allow us to go to where that woman is with the guillotine axe. And you can get a colourless demon soul from that zone, which is pretty cool. But I don't know if we're pure white. It looks white to me, but I don't know if that's pure white. This door is open, it's pure, which means uh, we need to kill two bosses for it to become pure, I think. Or you can kill an invader, I think, as well. That's another way you can do it. But suffice to say, we can't go down there just yet. So let's talk to the elemental. Ooh, is a nightmare to find when you first play this game. My goodness. I'm hoping there's nothing like this in Dark Souls 3. Because if I've got to talk to some eclectic dude who's up in the rafters, it might take me days to find him. I'm hoping I'm savvy enough to, to spot it when it turns up, if it does turn up at all. I do appreciate the verticality of the Nexus. I don't think there's enough verticality in Dark Souls. But Demon Souls has got it in spades with Latria, the Nexus. Hell, there's even quite a lot of verticality to, to Stonefang, isn't there, if you think about it? Is it this guy? We have long awaited ah, there is... It is. By the power of the monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. Now we can do some cheeky drops, can't we, here to get stuff, or is it the other one? Funny story, too. There's an area in the Nexus I'd never gone to before until I watched somebody in a video do it, where it saves all your stats. Uh, it's, it's a room that opens up, I think, later on. I'd never even, I didn't even know it existed. Some dude's running around some place, checking all statistics, and I was like, what? I don't know about this. Yeah, I think that's the, the grass I normally get. And I think you can get it by dropping onto this, like this. Look at the fall damage in this game, by the way. That would have been a death, that, in pretty much every other Souls game. Very floaty and, and weird. Yeah, new moon grass is the grass I normally dupe when I'm just playing casually. Trying to make PvP builds, and then I try and PvP and I get no traffic. It's always a depressing aspect of this game. But now we should be able to uh, touch the demon in in pancake faces. What is it? Dust face. So be it. After all, go. Let. Does thou require? Yes. Soul of the mind. Let me. Uh, uh, I feel like we're gonna need decks for a spear. 
You have to do this individually, don't you? God, that's a dumb thing. Why did they ever do that? Let's pump decks up until we've got 2,000 left. And then I'm going to buy that shield. Off this guy. I, I am done, yes. Because it's a heater shield. And the heater shield has a legacy in these games, which I appreciate. Because it's good weight and 100% physical block, which is exactly alive. what we want. And the, the weird thing about this game is everything you carry has weight. So you want to get oh, rid of the shit I'm you're good. not using, or you're going to get bogged down really quickly. I'm going to chuck this guy all my stuff I don't want. Should really chuck these, but I'm going to dupe them. Is the mail breaker better? I think it is, isn't it? That's 65, mail breaker 70. There it is. Crap shield, crap shield. I'm liking the, the scimitar, even though it's weaker. Crap armor, decent You rings. have a heart of gold. Awesome. So we've got ourselves set up, guys, for the rest of this. How the fuck do we do this now? Is it hold X? Ah, you've got to keep holding it. Terrible at these gestures. So welcome to Dark Strolls. Although it's Demon Strolls, technically. <laughs>